nearly half million school buses in the U.S. Each travels about 12,000 miles per year. Their exhaust fumes erode the ozone and harm students' health. It's pretty gross. Each bus emits seven pounds of particulate matter and about 50,000 pounds of carbon dioxide. That's what your lungs would look like if you stood right by a tailpipe of a bus the whole day. It's about the same as smoking. Enter the Robo Rebels, an eighth grade first Lego League team from White Bear Lake, Minnesota. Lego League is a, an organization that encourages kids to participate in robotics design, research, team spirit, and how to go about solving problems about the world. One of them had read in a National Geographic magazine that there were factories that were looking at algae as a possible means of reducing carbon dioxide in their emissions. All plants use photosynthesis to absorb CO2 and produce oxygen. Algae is one of the best. The student's idea is to attach a tube of algae to a bus's tailpipe. Imagine a tube right here with green algae in it and the exhaust will pretty much bubble up through that and then out the top up there it will clean out 30 to 50 percent of the CO2 in the exhaust. The students learn that by using a strain of hot springs algae, a bus's exhaust temperature can reach 162 degrees and not kill the algae. And we, and we spend a lot of time like figuring out where to mount it because it can't be in front of any of the lights or the windows or the emergency escape and we wanted it to get the maximum sunlight. The students also studied the harmful effects of particulate matter. It's just this really tiny particle, but it can do so many bad things, like cause lung cancer and stuff. Here, this is particulate matter. This is just normally, and then that is on a bus. That's the bus ride, and that's kind of interesting because it's a lot higher when they're on the bus. The students found a special muffler filter already on the market, which can remove 90% of particulate matter. But one of our main points was that you could use the LG tube without the LNF muffler because the LNF muffler is kind of expensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's like $2,000. Yeah. You could buy a new bus with that money. I think that. Kids this age have a lot of creativity oh, yeah, and by thinking about the big problems of the world and then trying to tackle a small problem in the world, they can see more practical applications of math and science. We just have the ability to think outside the box. It's a 23 gallon pipe sitting inside of a bus. So how many rivets would it take to hold it on? I love being able to take a problem and find a solution to it. Being an engineer is one of my big choices, though, of what I'd want to do. Engineering is how we get problems solved, how we get farther along in technology, and we can change the amount of pollution we're putting into the earth. The students do not have plans to actually build a device to sell. We might build a prototype. We're not sure right now. We're just kind of at the stage where we're proud of what we came up with. But they hope the idea catches on. We learn a lot more about it, and if we pass on that knowledge, it would be good. We're only in eighth grade. But then, you know, the device is rather simple, but because of that, I think it opens up the ability for more people to buy it and use it. Imagine how much pollution we could prevent with our algae tube filtration system.